Hello and welcome to the screencast on copying permissions with DeliverPoint 2007. In this screencast I'm going to show you how to use DeliverPoint 2007 to copy permissions from one user to another, how to report on the job status and how to uh, then go and check that the permissions have in fact been granted. The first thing I'm going to do is show you what users have permissions to the top level site. So I'm going to do that by choosing site actions, site settings and navigating to people and groups. And you'll notice that we have Dude, Sarah, Snickers and Zoe who are all granted permission by the root members SharePoint group. Going back to site actions, DeliverPoint has added two options to the site actions menu. I'm going to select the DeliverPoint 2007 option. And I'm going to expand the DPWFE web application and then expand root. And there you'll see my site collection called DPWFE. I can perform actions on the entire site collection, but I'm going to expand the site collection and just perform it on the top level site called root. I'm going to simply right click that, choose account management, and then copy permissions. Permissions I'm going to copy are from a user account called Dude, and I'm going to copy those permissions across to a user account called Richard. As uh, three options depending on how we want that job to be processed. We can run it now, which means uh, every minute by default, or we can run it later, which means at midnight again by default, and that's when the interrogator task runs, or we can run it both. Running it both will make sure that the job is run immediately, um, and then running it later as well will ensure that any new sites that have been created throughout the day or, or any new permissions that have been granted to users that we're copying from will also take place um, and, and won't be missed out since the last time an interrogator was run. We also have the option to include alerts, so any alerts that have been configured by Dude will also be carried across to Richard. I'm going to choose Next, and we get to the verification screen so we can see who we're copying permissions from and to, and then I'm just going to simply select OK. From the Operation Completed Successfully page, we have the ability to either return or go to the job status, so I'm going to choose the job status option. And you'll notice that there's uh, job 9 and 10 created. And both of those jobs are set to pending right now. The immediate is job number 9, which will take place every minute. And job number 10, that is going to take place at midnight tonight. That is because I chose the option of both. Let's have a look at the scheduled task. We can see that the job processor is currently running. So if I go back to the job status page and refresh my screen, you can now see that one of the jobs is uh, is currently processing. And refreshing the screen again, we can now see that job number 10 has in fact completed. So let's click the drop down arrow, choose view job, and in there we can actually see the all of the information regarding the particular job that was created. So we can see the fact that it was going to copy permissions from Dude to Richard on this particular site. We can see when that job was started, when it completed, and how long it took. And we can also see, more importantly, which actions it actually had to take to complete the task. So in a real life um, enterprise production environment, you'll see a long list of um, permissions that have been granted to this particular user. So in order to verify that, let's choose Site Actions once more. Go to Site Settings, People and Groups, and Sure enough, we can see that Richard has now been granted contribute permissions via the root members group, which uh, Dude had already had. Okay, many thanks for watching the screencast.